what it is you know what it's not and you know what it's gonna be another video we're gonna do it together so let's get You know what it is, you know what it's not, and you know what it's gonna be another video. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. So before we get into this video, because y'all already know what it's about to be, let's just give a quick shout out, okay? I have Arm Candy Express on the wrist. If y'all haven't already gone to that page and bought your merchandise, please do. And I do not want to mess up the name because it's so pretty. Queen Be Jeweled. And if I get it wrong, I'll put it in the description. But look, like, it's super pretty. Super, super pretty. And I ordered another one for my mom as well, but that one's customized. So let's get into this video, okay? So as you can tell from the title of this video, this is not only going to be about my HBCU experience. This is going to be about my entire band career. I'm going to tell y'all everything that everything that i've been through as far as my band career before we get into this story time go get your snack go get your drink okay and then come back so people people think like i'm new to this band music like that's nothing new to you girl okay i go to Auckland state university okay sod uh, i play clarinet but if you take it back to when your girl was a young and I, clarinet was not my first choice like not my first choice but guess what was my first choice though okay <laughs> it was percussion but i said my band director my very first band director what um what would you like to play because it was about you know this was third grade third grade so don't or well, they ask you this and the third like it's third grade so i was like um i want to be percussion i want to play the drums i literally this is literally the reaction i got uh, um we already have enough people on there next choice um saxophone definitely saxophone i'm trying to be grooving on that thing you know Second response I got, um, don't have enough mouthpieces. Um, third choice. Well, well, what are my choices? How about that? You let me know what my choices are. But I said, um, play that. I can make that work. Then. Let me do play that. And lo and behold, that's what I started to play. So it all started third grade. Okay, so regular music. I'm going to give you all the locations too so y'all can know, like, the vibes the types of music that i was playing if you're from any of these areas you definitely be able to catch on to what i'm talking about i'll give a little description but these are the minor fields okay leading up to the big boy okay so georgia is that sweet like dell home you know music that we was playing concerts you know events that's all i was doing did the same thing third fourth and fifth grade same instrument um sixth grade moved to california shout out back of l k707 and i still play clarinet but in california the music you know it is upbeat um not too fast because you know we're still not you know at a level to kind of catch on pretty quick but the music was definitely upbeat um very parade oriented that's the, that's when i started doing parades was um seventh grade but um you know sixth grade that's when i moved there but um more concert sixth grade seventh grade that's when the marching really you know started for real um was it a was it a rude awakening not really but that's because it was seventh grade you know what i mean like we wasn't we was in the back in the back of the school okay on the concrete like 
just practicing marching. It was no drill. Like, as far as heavy working out, it was none of that. So, it was fun, you know, but that's when I started experiencing, you know, the marching side, the outside part of the band. Then, after seventh grade, moved to Texas, where I am right now, San Antonio. Um, and eighth grade, it was no marching in eighth grade. Like, so if you can tell, like, depending on what area you're on, like, you start marching at different times. So, and that's cool, you know, because different areas are focused on different things. So, basically, I did no marching in eighth grade. Ninth grade came. Oh, shout out to all lower woodwinds, okay? Because I'm right there with y'all. Bass, contrabass, okay? Since eighth grade. And I love it. If that could be my primary instrument, I would pick that, but not to march with, okay? I definitely marched with some OGs in my high school who held it down on bass while marching. If you see me in person, I mean, even if you see me right now, you could tell, like, I'm not that tall. So I'm not about to be holding myself while I'm marching, okay? So that was just a no for me. But eighth grade, that's when I started playing bass. And then ninth grade in high school is when I started playing contra bass. And I just um, kind of went back and forth between the two during spring, um, spring concert season. So now the big thing in high school, same area. Um, if y'all, okay, okay, okay. Because this is what led to the transition. So pay attention. Me in high school, y'all see, all right? Now, band program was amazing. Like, I'm not going to lie. Band program was amazing. But, you know, the minority of us, and that's including blacks, browns, mixtures, Mexican, like anything across that board, okay? Even, well, yes, just those groups. Because actually the amount of, you know, like Orientals, those were a bit high compared to, um, compared to us. So just think about think about the um, ratio of people. Now we, and I can say this because I'm out of that environment now. Like the music, because sometimes it seemed like the music that we wanted to play as a group was not the music that was accepted at the time. Not by the school, not by the principals, not by you know each other, by the staff. I'm not. You know, I'm not asking to play WAP, like, none of that, okay? Like, but can we get a little bit of flavor? You know what I mean? Like, just a little bit. We are so technical. We're so talented. Like, all of that. And we're playing crazy stuff when we're marching. Like, crazy. But it's fun. So, I'm like, when we're in the stands, I mean, can we give a, can we give the people a little something to dance to? Like, something now mind you ever since seventh grade that's when i wanted to go to all point to be in the band i'm not trying to think about like oh i'm a major in this i'm a minor in that no i'm going to be in the band okay so that's that was my mindset i'm gonna do high school i'm gonna do band in high school i'm not gonna quit i'm not gonna stop because i need to get all those years into prep for Alcorn. Back to what I was saying, okay? They're not trying to make, they're not trying to let nobody dance in the stands, like get a little too out of character, you know what I mean? But we played what we played, you know, we played the occasional bop, like, you know, occasional, but we could have been doing way more honestly like we were doing a lot a lot of one variety it wasn't widespread you know what i mean and it's like that's the music that i want to play i know it's not the environment i know that but give me one or two songs while i'm waiting you know what i mean but i came from a corp style high school so um you know traditional high step like any of that um it was a foreign concept to me but you know i got it i got it um which do i like better definitely um 
definitely high step marching only only because like high step marching like knees to your chest like anything like that i feel like that's more comfortable than like staying as straight as possible as you can no bent knees nothing like that only thing i like about that is when you backwards march for my core style people who know what i'm talking about but yes that's the type of marching style that we were in high school and another thing that was a big difference between my high school career and my college career there are a lot of arrangers you know that i know like my boyfriend's an arranger great great arranger he has a great ear for music and and like a lot of my crab brothers like all of that they arrange music take it to the band director you know what i mean and they have a process that they go through in high school no such thing as a student arranger like i understand that that's just a college thing because once again i'm not speaking as a music major i'm just a band student so in high school i had one it was one of my good friends and he was trying to write music like and he was part of the minority group he was trying to write music and you know he would let me hear it let us hear we're like oh take it to him take it to him like take it to the director and he would take it to him you know that look you know that look that we get hmm. so much but are we gonna play it like it sounds great so are we gonna play it like Cause this is definitely something that can get the crowd like hyped up and the, if you break the song down because this is what would get us if you broke the song down and it had like one or two curse words in it he wasn't feeling it if it was too black he wasn't feeling it like and that's what i just didn't like because it was a lot of songs um you know coming from a student whose passion was music that wasn't being heard and i was just like i mean i know we have three directors but one is just you know we did have one and he um his education background was in mississippi so it's like he had that flavor but the main one you know it, but, but i understand you know it's a different system you know different culture that's why i just said stick it out like stick it out until you get to where you're getting because when you get to where you're getting it's not gonna be easy you know what i mean so you know just have be able to go into something with a range like with a variety you know what i mean so you can adapt in each environment so that's what i took from that and i'm thankful for that you know what i mean and um as far as positions in high school i did not hold a position as far as um uh, a section leader or like a woodwind leader we had brass leaders all that different stuff drum major i did not have a position like that did i go for it yes i went for section leader my senior year um but my best friend at the time she got it um and another boy in the section so um i was proud of her and i don't want to say i was hurt because i wasn't hurt but i was just like like I wanted that, you know what I mean? But I said, if I don't have it now, there's a possibility I may be able to have it in the future if it's meant for me. And I feel like, especially within band, like you have to have that mindset if you want to be a leader. If you if you want to be a leader, pray, do the work that it takes to get it. Um, you know, don't try to go the sneaky way and do it, you know just be you and if that position is made for you then it'll be yours trust me it will be yours and i i did audition for drum major i mean i could have had it i could have been up there that's high school though i could have been up there y'all like who would not who would not want to look at me up there like but you know it's okay so okay, I could have had that little flavor up there on the, it was big stairs, like high school biz, you know, the drum major stand on the big ladders. I could have been up there, but you know, it's okay. Decided to go with another option. Um, you know, was I hurt? I was waiting for a call that night, but it's okay. So 
got to college, freshman in college, you know, like section automatic, like the people that I came in with crazy, but we had a great time, you know, a lot of good experiences, a lot of building experiences. Um, freshman year will definitely mold you, I feel like, and mold you and kind of push you to see which direction you're going to go in as far as who you are as a person, you know, like within the band and even outside the band. Because HBCU band is not just about the music. That is what the focus is. But that HBCU umbrella in general is very family oriented. Like maybe like me, like I didn't, I was not around that band environment where, oh, that's your brother, that's your sister. You know, if we became friends, that's my best friend, like if we had that connection already, then yes, like that's, that may be like my brother figure, like in high school or my sister figure, but it wasn't, we're automatically connected like that. In college, specifically, all of them, like, yes, that's how it is. Like it, whether y'all fall out, whether, you know, you don't get along with somebody, it's automatically, that's my, that's my crab brother, that's my crab sister. We came in the same year and I love that connection because it goes, all the way through you know what I mean that family feeling so if that's what you're looking for if you're a student who is not in college yet but maybe you be you may be considering the HBC go for it like go for it because it was the best decision that I made hands down and I'm glad I didn't let any distracting factors like change my mind as far as that because that's the one the best one are you with your band director not me okay I said my freshman year freshman year was the building year and it was it was crazy it was fun it was all of that and you know I thought about being the section leader I did but it was a minor thought I'm telling you the work had been put in um you know building up to this year building up to this year and all of that but it was not a you know a loud thought in my head like do it go for it you know what I mean it was just in the back of my head like just do what you need to do as a bandsman like show you know that you know how to play the music be a good you know peer to your crab sister to your crab but just all that all that good stuff um now my sophomore year I ended up I like no you know no audition or nothing like that um as far as for a leadership position but I got it and my band director like Dr. Murray like hands down like as a father as a father like figure hands down like he covered all the boards like not even gonna lie so it was just an honor because it's like when he talked to us, like he knew and you need tough love, like from any any director, any instructor, any of that, like tough love is a good thing. And then when they can counter counteract that with that, you know, soft type of love and care, like that's perfect. And I feel like the directors give that in general, you know, at, in my man program. But he was like, little girl, you. So I was like, me, right now? Like right now, right now? like because band camp was almost over the year hadn't started yet and i was like okay this is real like this is real but it's like if me you got it you got it so don't do the fool with it do exactly what you wanted to do in high school and use the things that you learned freshman year and that any of your directors have ever taught you about being a leader you know just anything and as far as the music, this is one thing. You can play your heart out. There are plenty of better players than me, okay? And I applaud y'all if y'all are watching this video. I know I can play, all right? Now, don't ever think that that's, a, that's something that'll hinder, you know what I mean? Everybody has room to grow. So if you want something, go for it. I'm telling you, go for it. Believe that it's yours already. Believe that you can get it and know what to do with it. So me as a leader, like I took that sophomore year, junior year, I was doing the same thing. I was a section leader and you know, you're gonna go through hard trials, but the best thing is to always keep your game face on, like me in business, but me, like if you know me, like I have that mom type of, 
you know, care, like, you good, like, if somebody needs something, like, y'all good, like, straighten up, tighten up, this, that, and the third, that's me, so it's not a, y'all gonna do this, like, you know what I mean, like, somebody do this, I don't feel like, like, that's not me, you know what I mean, so I just say never put on a show, just let you pour out into whatever you're doing, and we're doing bands, so I'm just gonna be me and be natural with it, and just leave, you know what I mean, and I want anybody even my fellow leaders in the band now, if y'all are watching this, one thing is you want to be the type of leader that you want to have. I've had great examples. Like, each year that I've had a section leader, even in college, like, great examples. I will never forget them, never forget the things that they told me personally. Because they're amazing. They're things that will stick with me, not only as a leader in band, but, you know, in the years to come. And I'm really grateful for that. So you just want to be the type of leader that you would want to have. If you don't want to listen to you, then why do you think somebody else would? You know what I mean? So I'm going into my senior year and I was blessed to have the position of a band captain. And that's just like, and you a soldier, like right under the staff. And we had great examples last year. And it's like this time, like I'll be a band captain along with my three crab brothers but it's like i'm the first female band captain like you know there's been female you know drum major you know all of that like that's history in the making like it doesn't matter if bands canceled or you know some people are some programs not people some programs are choosing not to continue this semester um because of everything that's going on and i do hate that I do hate that because, you know, I wanted to finish my college career out with a bang, you know, more trips, more marching, just just more everything. But like I said, it's a time for everything. And, you know, it's a reason. It's a reason behind everything. So I'm just very appreciative of the time that I've had in the program. Um, would I recommend somebody becoming part of SOV? Yes. <laughs> yes because it was the best decision I made, you know, a best college decision I ever made. Um, any thoughts that I had about it before, any doubts, like, I remember my biggest doubt, I don't like to run. I done been on that campus, so don't have me running around campus, like, because I don't want to fall out on y'all, and then y'all think, like, I'm too weak to handle it, like, if any of that stuff is going through your head, like, please erase it, like, please erase it they're gonna sometimes you feel like you're breaking down physically but you're not you're becoming stronger but that's with any workout regimen even in high school because high school them workouts were no joke whether it was during the day or right after practice like them workouts were no joke okay so if you can relate y'all remember but like i said this is my senior year and I have that position and I'm super grateful, like super grateful everything I did, you know, as a section leader, I would do the same things, but more, you know, and I get to do it for a larger group of people. So I'm super thankful, you know, to, to the staff, like for choosing us to do that, you know, because it's super fun to do that, like your last year going out. So, yes, but yeah, the other thing that I like about well that i'm in love with as far as hbcu um bam bam base is that it doesn't matter if it's a rival college like it doesn't matter if it's a rival college that's fam why because we all fall under the same umbrella all right and i'm not gonna lie when we played southern it was a movie okay that was our homecoming ask anybody that was our homecoming but that was a movie and I was definitely ready to um go back or you know have them visit us just because it's a movie whenever we play each other and that was definitely an experience that I wanted to have in the fall but you know like I said it's you know there's some different stuff going on as far as corona so I'm appreciative for that experience you know what I mean it's just the people you meet the places you get to go, you know, you get to travel. Um, I know a lot of bands travel, but my band is the best. So I'm recommending that you join, you know what I mean? If you are a band student, um, 
And I just feel like when you when you go into a collegiate band, specifically HBCU, because I can't speak for nobody else, like you will be pushed to your limit. You will, but it'll make you stronger in all aspects, like as a person, musically, physically, mentally, all of that. And that's the best part. Like that's the best part is relationships that will last a lifetime that you will get to encounter in this program and i'm an advocate for it like i'm an advocate for it and i'm super proud that in the hbcu community like students are welcomed to using their talents and this is the last thing i'm gonna say my thing you know i don't write music um music is not my major but i'm super proud of the people whose major is that or whose interest is that and they're able to use band as an outlet that's what they're passionate about. Ever since my freshman year, like every, it doesn't matter what band you go into, there's gonna be drama, like there's gonna be drama. But one thing about me, I didn't want it to keep being drama, you know, like within the females in the band, you know, cause I'm just like, don't nobody wanna go through that. You know, even, even males, you know, y'all don't wanna go through that type of thing every day. So I was like, well, what if I created like, basically like a support system or like a support group um you know to just build up the females you know because we don't get to talk like that um during practice you know like just vibe with each other we don't we can't we don't have an opportunity on you know on the director's time so i was like i want to create a group you know what i mean and just for us to be able to bond and you know better each other where whether it's each other's businesses whether it's each other's mental state because it's a lot of things that in college and in high school people are not taught you know what i mean like the tips are not given insight is not shared so that's what i would want to do for young girls coming in so i created sisters of distinction and i'm not gonna lie i prayed about this it was a monday night i prayed about this junior year that just passed um prayed about it monday night tuesday morning woke up was in class 9 30 okay and i pulled out my notepad and i just started writing down the plan like i want to do it like this i know who i'm gonna reach out to two of my sisters i reached out to within the band and they helped me build it more helpers came along like i was just super thankful because it's like when you really think about what you're passionate about like and you're all under the same program like doing what y'all love it's a blessing it's a blessing because you know like you're not the only one who wants the good out of people you're not the only one who's trying to spread like just positivity throughout the program like there's people thinking the same thing so y'all just got to come together as one group you know shout out to this this is nothing shout out to all the you know band sororities and fraternities okay so much love for y'all that's not what this is um just to preface that um and i also spoke to the um the sorority and fraternity within our band program and let them know like you know it's not that type of party because we look up to them like at the end of the day we look up to them an immense amount so it wasn't that but um yes we got it started and you know we're gonna keep it going but like i said it's sisters of distinction and i just wanted to stick with that sod because the, we are them this is not a separate thing you know this is not separate we are them we're just the females in it you know what i mean and you know we kept it going kept it going you know of course the year ended came to a treacherous end but as much as we can do you know going back in we will do but i'm super thankful to the staff for letting letting me grow you know as a person and create that you know with my sisters because at the end of the day you need somebody to check on you like you need somebody that you feel like you can just reach out to and I'm telling you, all these connections are coming because I'm in an HBCU band program. I can't speak for none of none, nobody else, like none of y'all in a regular band. I can't speak for that. But yes, y'all, so many good experiences, so many funny experiences have come from being in an HBCU band. And um, if I can, I'm gonna insert some of my favorite clips from the years that I've been in the band. And I know this year is gonna bring more 
memories even though we don't have that much time to be on campus but i know my senior year and sod is going to bring me so many great memories and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if i insert clips okay enjoy them if i cannot thank you for sticking to this video because you're a real one and you have to be a real one if you in a band okay and you supporting me and you watching this so thank you guys and make sure you stay tuned for the next video check the description box okay go get go get your jewelry trust me it's so many other sources and they sell so many other things both for boys and for girls so make sure you go get your merchandise love you guys